see, 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 I'm on oh, along no. the second oh, no. line. I um like immerse myself into Zodico and I move with my dad. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashets React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction, but this time it's our reaction you to our it? culture. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome to Houston, the land of Zodico. Let's just bone tips roulette. Come on. Zodico is a feel-good music that you can't help but to dance to. If you can two-step, if you can move your feet, you can Zodico. to be um another topic of our black history month you guys have been wanting to know our history so this is a part of our history i'm side-eyeing because it says houston yeah and, and not lafayette yeah i'm, I'm side -eyeing. i was kind of curious right? about that <laughs> but nonetheless we we have you know our louisiana roots hit houston it, it's okay um, so yeah, this is a part of our culture. A lot of times people ask, what is African American culture? This is a part of our culture. A hundred percent. Yes. This is something you would see brought up in the household where young men and women can, uh, well, I, I would say mainly men when it comes to the instruments, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah they yeah, are taught yeah. how to use all these other instruments so they can get on stage and, you mm -hmm. know, perform with their uncles and family members yeah. and cousins and whatnot. And it's very family oriented. You can't yes, beat it, this. So Zodicon is definitely culture. About family oriented, it is what family you know when Zadiko come on, you don't know, see it. Man, tell everybody come on, start getting on the floor. Legs. Now, we don't get on that. We, I think I saw a little bit of that, all right. Too. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's for the grown, you know. The people, no matter if it's an older crowd or a younger crowd, everybody's dancing, everybody's into it. For a while, I stopped coming. Now I'm like, I need that. I need that moment of feeling free, letting my hair down, you know, being around friends and families. I don't know, man. So y'all, back in the day, they had what? Like, jazz, right? The blues, yeah, yeah, jazz, the halls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the grown folk. This day and age, we have Zodico. Mm -hmm. um, they have the swing out clubs and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, and yeah. then you have your club club where people get to turn up and do all that stuff. But these are the more grown and sexy type grown of environments that you can tap into. And not have to like blink an eye, but like it's, it's crazy fun. Yeah, yeah. Something about when you hear that accordion and that washboard that you know you've tuned in to some Cajun Creole Zodico music. If you can move two to the left, two to the right, oh yeah, you can Zodico. My Zodico nickname is One Step. I didn't know how to do a two step. Zodico is two steps, and I was always doing one step. But as you can see, I don't do that anymore. I love the music. My grandmother has always told me, boy, that music is embedded in you. That's your blood. Zodico was born in Southwest Louisiana and was brought here to Houston. It's bigger in Houston than it is in Louisiana. You know what? They, they may actually be right. That it's she said they there. may be. A, she don't want to let go, y'all. No, she, no, <laughs> she wanted to be in Louisiana. No, no, I love that they gave us our credits facts, now. Facts, facts, facts. Because, you know, my, my roots is all along I attend. Um, but I feel like they may be right. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people move to, oh, to Houston. Houston. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, so, yeah, they may be right. Mm -hmm. mm. Houston is on top of the exotic cold world. I grew up listening to my... To all of our Louisiana people. 
So it's bigger than bigger in Houston than in like Opelousas and all that. I think it's more spread. I think we spread then. Mm. Well, we go to Shreveport and stuff too. See, 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 see. I'm all along know. the second I line. I um like immerse myself into Zodico and so I move with my dad. And honestly, I still don't know how to Zodico that well, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Uh -huh. And my uncle playing their own Zydeco band. My mom and dad met at a Zydeco event. <laughs> when I'm dancing, I feel good. A relief. So here we are at the Big Easy. This building is important to my family because here is where my grandfather, Wilfred Chavis, began his Zydeco career. You see me balling? Zydeco is basically Creole French culture, but we have our own way to it, like a southern Louisiana root. I was born outside of Opelousas, Louisiana. Creole is a mixture of African American and French Caucasian and Native Indian. I started dancing when I was 10 or 11 years old. I love it. In the beginning, we called it French La La. We were going to the La La. My grandfather would, you know, move everybody, everything in the house out and bring a band in. My mom and dad left there when I was seven years old, and we moved to Houston. Right now, we are in the area called Frenchtown. This area is important to the Zydeco culture because in the 1920s, there was a big flood in Louisiana, so everyone moved here to Houston and they lived right here in Frenchtown. Fifth Ward, Frenchtown. Hmm. You, you saw that call? I gotta play it back. Did you see the call? Play it a little bit. Play it a little bit. To the Zydeco culture because in the 1920s, there was a big flood in Louisiana, so everyone moved here to Houston. So you mean to tell me, hold up, they drove four hours, well, in, in our car. cars. You see, you see that car? <laughs> it's about four hours from Lafayette to Houston, right? My, my calculations, right? You it's been a minute. You calculate. Around about four hours. And then they put... So this is how they was putting up. Oh, mmm, eesh. Took a couple days. A couple. A couple days. Ooh, a couple of days, but you know what? I understand. They was flooded out. Ain't had much of a choice. Mm. I get it. And they lived right here in Frenchtown. The Ward Frenchtown area of Houston. It was just like Louisiana had moved to Houston. Clifton Chenier came along. We gonna play all the music what's happening at home right now. They call the Zydeco. And he came up with this song called Zydeco Pasale. <laughs> this is a little song they call Zydeco e Pasale. Uh, this is no salt in your snap bean. Clifton recorded that <laughs> in Houston. That's when people start switching from La La to Zydeco. Some of the Creole people that started doing trail rides, they brought their music with them. It's just the Creole culture. Trail riding clubs and social clubs host events year round with live Zodico music. Trail ride is what helps spread the culture. Trail riding is riding the horses during the day and the Zodicoing at night. Turn it up. Right here. Nowadays, you'll see more of the younger crowd. The way the music's changing, the crowd changes. I mean, we all still dance together anyways. With so much going on, we need something that 
can bring people together. And honestly, to me, that's Zodico dancing, feeling free. Like, hey, do your thing. On the real side, didn't need to realize The game's on my clock because I fly high You see me at the front Man, stop playing, bro Yes, I love, it. I love seeing my people Gotta learn, how, Man, hey, that's a fun time I'm telling y'all, you don't want to miss that yeah. Gotta learn how to Zodico Yeah, yeah Gotta learn how to Zodico yeah. You get you a good one with that A little old A little old I know how to Zodico <laughs> You know how to Zodico yeah. I have Zodico with you plenty of times I know how to Zodico in my head your step must be going good though. Oh baby, I could do it while I'm sitting down. Yo, I got, I got it right, y'all. Trust me. Mm -hmm. One day I have to bring it, yeah, bring it to the light. <laughs> bring it to the light. I'm still not confident in it, honestly, but it's okay. One you remember when days. I was playing it in the car? Yeah. And then the ball. I, we was always in San Diego playing Zodico. <laughs> no, we was uh, actually headed to one of his football games. Oh yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Oh, daddy, put on that other oh, track." Yeah. Put on he that. Liked like, that. Oh yeah, they love that. He music. liked that. Mm -hmm. Our babies, yeah. So. We love showing y'all our culture. Yes. Um, I know that like some places like in South America can um recognize those instruments. The washboard, and and yeah. in the Caribbeans mm -hmm. can recognize those instruments and I know that y'all use some of that. Oh yeah. I'm yeah, really yeah. honestly not sure about places in Africa when it comes to the instruments. But let us know if right. if y'all um hmm. Use any of those, like the accordion, the washboard, and things like that. So, yeah. oh, and I tried on that washboard. That's heavy. That's heavy. It mm. weighed me down. See, baby, you got you got them little teeny tiny shoulders though. Yeah, but you it weighed me down. Ain't no sense how heavy that thing is. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yes, we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.